Welcome to Billingham Stars TV, your home for highlights of the ultimate Windows Billingham Stars. We are back as the new Stars roster takes the ice for the first time in a pre-season friendly at the Forum against the EPL Hull Pirates. Enjoy highlights with commentary from NIHR Radio with Oz Phillips and Jonathan Longstaff. As the puck drops here and straight away down the right-hand side there is Benjamin Davison. He brings it around the goal, puts it out onto the side, and the whole Pirates now have possession. They're now going up the right wing, trying to get it around, bouncing it off the boards. But that's straight onto the stick of Callum Reid, who knocks it down into the corner for Ben Davison again. Callum Reid twice to get it out, but that was a heavy, heavy hit there from, I think, Le Lee Bonner of the Pirates. The Stars managed to get it away if they go for a slight change here. A bit of a miss on the puck there. Collected by Thornton. Then across to Michael Elder. Elder takes a shot. It's a great goal. ball. What great goal from Michael here. Elder. Already, after 35 seconds of play, it's 1 0 to the Billingham Stars. And that was a well worked goal there. Brilliant from Richie Thornton. He picked up on the loose puck, saw the Pirates were trying to make a quick change, and he pounced on it. He pounced on it with a great pass. It was to the right wing where Michael Elder was wide open. Well started, you mean to go on. The Morally team at the Billingham Stars are 1 0 up against the EPL's whole Pirates. Okay, now as Nathan Salem brings it in behind the goal, then tries to pass it back out. The whole Pirates just waiting, trying to get this into the slot. Waiting there was uh, Kane Taylor. But nothing could come through to him. The Pirates now on the blue line, trying to bring it back into a face-off circle. Kane Taylor with the shot there. Comes off Flavel's pad to Dennis Bostrom, who's uh, doing some strong defensive duties here. You're playing with three at the back at the moment. Again, out by Jack Davis. Tom Keeley doesn't uh, take it out of his zone, and the Pirates seize possession. Oh, that should have been a shot and a goal. There, onto every loose puck as quick as you could believe. Sizak again, but Tom Keeley with a, a shoulder check there just pushes him off. Jack his Watkins. Game. Is it Watkins? Sorry. Jack Watkins. Oh, wow! That away. came from absolutely nothing there as uh, Lee Bonner scores. That was a loose puck, and he didn't even do one time shot straight into the back of the goal. Straight on the loose puck, quick as you like. So, three minutes and 32 seconds played in the first period. The score is 1 1 here at the Billingham Forum. Not, well, we've only seen four minutes of action, but Sizak looks very, very dangerous every time he's got the puck. I don't think he's been puck. off the ice yet, has he? Uh, no, I, I think that's happening. That's good for Hull. He's on the ice, he's on the puck. Oh, no! A delay of the game penalty against Matt Campbell from behind his own goal line and I have to say with not any real pressure on him no, no, he decides to try now. and hit the plexi just glanced wide and then into the bottom left hand corner and suddenly on the break now is James Moss James Moss gets this puck and he's just going all the way up just keeping possession being very clever here on the PK stopping the Pirates from going forwards now the Pirates have possession 1 minute and 40 remaining on the power play as they bring it down the left wing going around the face off circle now is Watts he decides to go around the goal back out into the other side Nathan Salem now behind the goal they bring it out. Nathan Salem again in the slot, takes the shot, nothing. And five minutes and 55 seconds played in the game. 15 seconds now remaining on the power play. Thamar has it on the left wing, tries to get it to Haywood. It's knocked over the blue line by the Stars. Eight seconds remaining. The Stars are going for a change sloppy. at this time. Very sloppy. Very and that's sloppy a goal change. for uh, Cesas. It's 2-1. And... I can't believe they gave Cesar so much room to be able to take that shot. And he wasn't even a strong shot. No, 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 just time and space. He's allowed to pick his spot there. Ben Davison now behind the goal, tries to get it around the balls away from Nathan Salem. He does indeed do so. It now goes onto the right wing for Dennis Bostrom. Bostrom going forwards, he's got two red shirts in support. He comes into the centre, shot taken. Saved there. Always looking for that half a yard as Bostrom. He's got a wicked shot on him. Pirates just waiting for the opportunistic moment to go forwards, dump it into the neutral zone and lose possession. Forwards by Cooper, then to Nertney. The Pirates now from behind their own goal. Attempt to go forwards. It's a very sloppy uh, 30 seconds from the Pirates. I just think we've put some guys out there, just put, some, put them under a bit of pressure. And there we go, that's a delayed penalty for tripping. Uh, Sizak has been given the penalty for tripping. He's going to sit down for two minutes. I think the, the Stars will breathe a sigh of relief that he's not on the ice, but suddenly in a shorthanded situation, that's a goal that went in. Bonner Bonner has scored shorthanded with only 10 seconds played. 
They're so quick on a loose puck. So quick. Just a little bobble and they were on it in a flash. And down the wing they went and 3-1 it is. Then knocks it forwards to start. Still again on the left wing with Dennis Bostrom. He's got Moss as, uh, for support. It just goes across the front of the goal there. Chris Sykes just couldn't get a stick to it. He couldn't put it in. The Pirates are doing everything right on this penalty kill as we will expect them to do so as an EPL side. 22 seconds now remaining. Let's hope bring it all the way back down the ice and now that behind the goal. Penalty. Penalty has been given for slashing. One minute and 35 now on the Jack Davis penalty. It's going forwards is Lazar. It's great there by Ben Davison, gets it away. Collected by Osman. And here we go again, the Pirates on a break. He's just pulling up there. Matthew Campbell making sure that uh, Lazek doesn't hit Flavo with full force. Yeah, now here's Watt, drops it back for Haywood. Shot taker saved by Flavo and he's put in the back of the net by Ben Davison, I believe. The, the shot was saved by Flavel and it just ended up being fumbled back into the goal so the score now is 4-1 with 14 and 48 played that's a hard one to take that that's one that's disappointing that one now suddenly we've got Chris Sykes racing down the right wing so quickly he's not got any support with him put it in a great area as well that's oh yeah no he's 16 minutes and 19 played a tripping call has been given Sizak again same call, same player, same position on the ice. Again, the Stars aren't exactly known for their power play. And I know that they're against an EPL side, but what benefit are they going to get from dumping into the corners? I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. It's just sloppy. And that's a goal. Sloppy. Possession lost. And that's a goal there for the whole Pirates. Uh, Hewitt from Salem, I believe. The score now 5-1. The second shorthanded goal of the game. And now Salem trying to uh, get on this, but that's away by Richie Thornton. Stars just trying to get it out, don't do so. Salem with the shot and Salem with the goal. From the centre of the blue line there, Nathan Salem. The score now is 6-1 to the visiting Pirates with 1 minute and 25 seconds played in the second period. Oh, they managed to get it away now, this is a chase. Oh, not much of a chase. I thought there that uh, Palmer Bjork might have got there before Thamar, but it, it wasn't uh, going to happen. But suddenly, wow, that's, that's clinical there. That's Hewitt with the goal for the whole Pirates. But the way that that came from a star's breakaway almost, bringing it straight up the ice. Two or three passes and it's in the back of your own net. How clinical these Pirates are. As here in the corner now, the whole Pirates have this puck. Just trying to bring it out. The Stars get it away, trying to get down the left wing there, Chris Sykes. Oh, interception, he brings it on, shot taken. He tries to come back out to uh, Elder. Don't know how quick hole break. Oh, that's a goal again, and that is uh, Lassac for the Pirates. Of course, you heard the ring of the iron there. Four minutes and eight seconds played in the second period. It's now 8-1. The hole just biding the time waiting for someone to come into the slots. Bring it in there, Lassac was calling for that, but something has been given. Was that a holding call? Holding the stick, I think you give the action for. Yeah, give it penalty given whilst they were in possession. Anyway, that is Ryan Watt taking a place in the box. Finally get it out. Watkins just can't do anything with it though, and again, Cesar's in shot taken. And that is the third shorthanded goal of the game for the Hull Pirates. They seem to be involved in a lot of the stuff that they do. Kirk, again. Oh, very sloppy. oh very wow. Sloppy from the bomber. That's come from nowhere as Nathan Salem puts that in the back of the goal. Simple pass across the D, messed up by the coach. <laughs> Salem pounces. I don't remember him being this clinical when he was uh, playing at our level. So has gone back to one of their old trustworthy lines from last season here with uh, Elder Davies and Sykes. Done a lot of my good last year. Here we go, from the centre of the blue line there, that shot was taken by Mikey Elder, but it's been saved. Very confident in the net, mind, he's well over his crease, he's shut that down. 
up the left wing there is O'Flaherty. It's been notable that the uh, Stars have used Jack Davies on defence this game. Oh, wow. Oh, that was the only gap you could see. The, wow. That, again, that, that kind of came from nothing there. The goal, I think it's Haywood scored it. Another loose puck that's ended up in the back of the net. Yeah, Lee Haywood there with the goal. Getting to the centre, Salem. Salem on the left wing. He's trying to, to get it through. Coming. Indeed, a penalty has been called. Walking on Salem. Yeah, Scott Ward there sat for two minutes. A power play now. Shot taken safe by Flavel. Just comes out on his pads. Kirk tries to keep it in. Oh, now. Terrible. Terrible. I don't know what he could have called there. Bostrom took the loose puck. He's claiming that the uh, Pirates player took it offside. I'm not believing that for one moment. 14 minutes and five seconds of hockey played here in the second period, and the score is still 11 1 to the Pirates. Nothing really happening with this as a penalty has just been given there. Interference. No need to make that contact. Interference has been given there by the official. We're going to say nothing has happened. It was just being passed around the neutral zone. Interception there and the Stars get it away, it's in the neutral zone, Kirk straight on it, but something's been given here by the official, slashing has been called. Yeah, Nathan Salem. Oh, <coughs> Dennis Bostrom, what he's done all last season, wow. quick release, quick release, and it's a power play goal. It is, it's a power play goal after two seconds. I don't think we'll get to say that much more this time this year. <laughs> that is incredible, fair play. If you're ever going to score against this uh, well-drilled and well-organised pirate side, it's going to be a goal like that. I, I believe someone has said to me that they are the best uh, chips. Yeah, they have like an American rock salt, a chip spice, paprika, I think it is. Unbelievable, it is. Oh, wow! That was just kept wow, off the line there the by blocker. Moore. Kirk off the boards to Salem. Salem brings it on side. He's coming down the left-hand wing. Oh. Into the centre for uh, Lazak. Shot oh, and, and save. Another great save. But that is an excellent save. There. Two fantastic passes there. One off the boards and then a drop pass from Salem. Fantastic yeah. stuff. So we had Salem and, uh, and Watt there trying to get this puck out. Oh, something's happening here between Watts and Jack Davis. Ryan Watt wants to do something with Davis. Davis is not getting involved whatsoever. It's not like Jack. Must know when to back down. I think that's a very sensible and mature move there by Jack Davis. You know what, the last game of the season at Blackburn last year was Blackburn against the Billingham Stars. As you know, my son went to that game and he wanted to meet James Flavel. And I took my son over and went, this is James Flavel. He's the best netminder in the league. As a goal goes in, finally, that was Thamar. Commentator's first there. Yeah, it is indeed. 12-2 now the score as the Hall Pirates put that in the back of the net. 13 minutes and 22 seconds played in the third period. Yeah. Replaced by a at the store box. A penalty has tripping. been given here. 13 minutes and 57 seconds played. A tripping call there. Onto uh, the left wing, trying to get it out. And the Stars do so now. They're chasing this. This is impressive. The fact that they're on a penalty kill and they're not just dumping away and then trying to put four men back behind oh, the puck. They're actually chasing this game. I think they're the game oh, here gone. we go. Wow, and he, he didn't know it much about it, he didn't know much about that at all, but uh, James Flavel had that in his hand. So a 12-2 victory for the EPL side, but all in all, a good chance for our Stars team to get to grips with the ice again, ready for next week's matchup against the Dragons. Man of the match for the Hull Pirates goes to number 74, Lee Bonner, scoring twice for the away side. And for the Billing of Stars, his first game wearing the red jersey and his first Man of the Match award for number 24, Scott Cooper. Catch interviews with him as well as Hull Pirates players Dom Osman and Jason Hewitt on the Stars TV YouTube channel. We'll see you next week for our first game of the NIHL season against the Dragons.